Were you being influenced by the feminist movement? <laughs> Not directly, uh, and although it, my consciousness was being raised slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. So certainly not at the bat mitzvah stage. When I went to college, Penn had a college for women and then a college. So you were accepted as a woman to the college for women. There were a third of the number of students in the college for women. So it was much harder to get mm -hmm. into. I don't think I focused on that particularly till I got there. And at first, the women were all banding together. Isn't it great we're so much smarter than the guys? as opposed to, this is very unfair. The, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The women had separate curfews that the guys didn't have. You could be actually um, kicked out of school if you came in late, mm -hmm. repeatedly, on these curfews. And it was very angering to think that these freshman guys would have no curfew and a senior woman could end up with a curfew and in trouble. That was very unfair. Mm -hmm. We had to wear skirts to classes and skirts even on the weekends to the library up until my senior year when you were allowed to wear skirts to the library on Sunday afternoon. That, those kinds of things were starting to rankle. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I applied to law school with these two girlfriends, we went to take the LSATs, and these guys came over and started screaming at us, we shouldn't take the LSATs, we don't belong in law school. At the time, the Vietnam War was raging, and um, graduate school, if you were in graduate school, you could get a deferment from the draft. So many guys at the time saw a seat in law school as a way of avoiding the Vietnam War. And if a woman was sitting in that seat, that was one more person who was going to get drafted.